Hey everybody, a few weeks ago a company contacted me and their name is Survival Gorilla and they uh, sell these grow light hangers and they asked me if I would test them out after watching all of my different grow light videos and I said sure and they sent me a pack here, there's three in a pack and let me give you a closer look at these things, I'll open it up. Alright, as you can see it came three in a pack and the instructions unfolded from the packaging and it looks pretty simple. So let's take a look at one of these things. I'll open it up here and uh, zoom in on it. Okay, as you can see, each end has these hooks for connecting to the ceiling. And each hook has the spring activated latch here. So that guarantees it's not gonna slip off of whatever you're connecting it to. Okay, here's a closer look at the ratcheting part of this hanger. You can see inside there has metal gears and after reading online, I know some companies make some with plastic gears that wear, wear out and the ropes actually slip after a while. But you can see here, I'll pull on this. Brings in the hook and then to adjust it the other way, there's a lever right here. And you just flip the lever and it releases it. Well, I'm going to be hanging a grow light above my hydroponic system that I just threw together a few days ago. I'm growing some hydroponic lettuce. And I picked up these screw eyes to put into the ceiling to uh, hook onto. And I'll show you that in a second here. Okay, as you can see here, I'm growing hydroponic lettuce. And I have the light set up kind of hokey because I didn't expect it to grow so fast. But that's an overdriven T8 light. It's equal to a T5. It's um, running one bulb off of one ballast. So each uh, light bulb in there has a ballast of its own and that's what makes it so bright. But uh, it's too high right now. The uh, lettuce is kind of stretching. So what I'm going to do is install these uh, grow light hangers and bring the light as close as possible without touching the leaves. The lettuce is looking pretty good despite having an uneven light source and it being way too high above the plants. But as you can see, they're doing all right. I think once we even out the light and bring it as close to the plants as possible, then we're gonna have some really healthy plants in the near future. Okay, I got the screw eyes in. So. like that. And the second one. Okay, and then we just attach the ratchet part, like so. Hooked on there good. And the same for the other side. Okay, I'll just make these a little bit snug before I remove my boxes. and I'll just pull my boxes away. All right, next we'll just even these out. Just release the ratchet up here. Like that. Holds there. And this side. Release the ratchet. Whoop, too much. That's it. Well, with this third one, I'm going to use it to hang up my uh, metal halide grow light. It's a little bit more heavy than the other light, but these things can hold up to 75 pounds. And you can use them for other things too, like hanging a bicycle in the garage or whatever you can think of. And uh, in future videos, I'm going to do, do the review of Dirt ND, just like they do on the Brock Show. And I'll put a link to his channel if you want to check it out. This I'm going to be testing on a Trinidad Scorpion Maruga that I had indoors all winter. And it's looking pretty sad and I just moved it outside. So that's what's coming up on another video. And then I'm also reviewing, this is a 100% natural nutrient solution for hydroponics. And I'm going to be using this on um, 
my rain tower with some lettuce. And uh, this ocean solution it's called. So that's coming up in another video. And that's all I have for you this time. Take care everybody.